Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth Vlogmas video. I'm starting it on a Monday and I'm getting ready to go, um, I'd say run errands, but it's very minimal. I'm just taking my newly box to UPS really quick. I'm gonna do a mobile order at Starbucks because I need to get oat milk for making coffee here and also coffee grounds. So I'm gonna go from UPS to Starbucks to the bodega to get oat milk coffee beans because I normally order them I order them consistently from my hometown but their shipping takes a long time and I didn't order them early enough so I'm just gonna get like a small bag to tie me over here and then yeah get a couple things at the bodega and come back here I'm placing my mobile order right now and I thought I'd share with you guys what I normally get during the holiday season it's not that exciting um, or that much of a trip from what I normally get. I get a cold brew with oat milk consistently year round. And sometimes I do get hot coffee when it's cold, but I'm kind of still in the mood for cold brew today. So I'm gonna do that, a splash of oat milk, and then I'll, if I feel a little spicy, <laughs> I'll get one pump of a flavor. And what I like to get in the winter is just one pump of peppermint. And it's so good because I feel like the peppermint is some of the flavors are very subtle if you only have one pump but peppermint is the kind of thing where all you need is one and it's just the perfect touch of sweetness and holiday so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do cold brew light ice cold brew i'm doing an extra splash of oat milk today and one pump of peppermint syrup so that's the order very excited about it and it's around the corner from ups peppermint syrup sold out at this store Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go drop off my newly boxes. They came in two packages this year, so it might be a little um, difficult to carry because <laughs> they're a little bulky, but we'll figure it out. Let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, I got Irish cream instead of whatever I want in peppermint. <laughs> and I've never tried it before, so let's see. Oh, it's good. Tea, but it's like very sweet. Kind of thing. I ended up getting the best oat milk, the Chobani original. And for coffee, I got Stumptown, which I never bought their beans before. I've had Stumptown coffee plenty, but I don't know if I've had this particular roast. It's the Holler Mountain Creamy and Caramel. So cute packaging and also from Oregon. So feels a little homey still. <laughs> Clip in my apartment, but headed to happy hour to get margarita. This reading and drawing is for Christy Venner. Hello, I'm Zen. I am participating in mentalist, practicing mentalist, excuse me, and astrologer in reading. I always try. I try. How long is this? Reading to reading, blah, 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 blah. I hope you're already in the mood for reading. Let's go. The current position of the Earth and active ast astrological objects. I'm not gonna read that. It's impossible to make a forecast about the future based on any of these constellations. As you know, a lot can be seen with astrological charts. Literate astrologers know that any forecast has a certain reliability. This is the visual. I made a prediction for you based on the third option since so we're. Probability of reliability for this constellation is now greater 70 to 75 percent. Otherwise, 60 percent. Well, plastic. I gotta get to the chase the here. Holy shit. This is like handwritten. Chrissy's about to see her soulmate, everyone. <laughs> We're about to find out. Um, this is really long. The drawing was created using astrological techniques, Meanwhile. using special equipment. Cliff's notes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the actual. Wait, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> He's so much. You can barely see him. She added hair. She added hair. You can barely see him. You can additionally order a video of the drawing process. All right. Okay. He has hair that looks like that. Some eyes now. He has eyes. Sensual. Okay. He has. Oh, look at that nose. Okay. It's giving Dylan O'Brien. It's giving. This is exactly. <laughs> the dark hair, the facial, the jawline. Wow. Okay, here it is. How do we look? What a 
beautiful couple. <laughs> I'm back from getting drinks with a friend. I wasn't planning on that this Monday night. I don't usually go out on Mondays. I mean, that wasn't like going out, but I usually am a homebody on Mondays. Um, but I had a friend who had someone and things with her, so she wanted to go get drinks, and I was like, of course I am there for you. So we went just to a couple places in the neighborhood and happy hour, and it was really good. We had fun, good, uplifting talk. All good things. So now I'm back and I got my mail and I'm gonna show you guys a Black Friday purchase. I actually don't think this was particularly a Black Friday sale, but they were on sale and I purchased them around Black Friday, so I think it counts. I've been wanting these boots for so long. I have a friend who has them and they look so good on her and I'm like, yo, I love chunky oversized black boots. I know that these aren't everyone's taste, but I wear black boots every day <laughs> and I love a platform, something that'll give me height, flatter my legs without being uncomfortable. And these are them. Let me show you. These are the Steve Madden Cobra boots. They are platform on platform, chunky, and they're tall, but they don't feel like my, my foot is still relatively flat because of the platform, so they're comfortable. And there's just like such such a vibe. I love these. I'm so excited that I finally got them. I got them in my actual usual size, which is seven, and they fit pretty well. I do think they're a little bit tighter on the mid section of my foot. I do tend to have wide-ish feet, so maybe that's why. So thicker socks might not be the best, but we'll see once I wear them a little more. They seem pretty comfortable, just like walking around my apartment. They were on sale. I think the normal is like 160 or 170 for the price, and I got them on Nordstrom for $100. So they end like right here around the ankle, zipper. So yeah, these are gonna be my new signature shoe. I also got a package from Story, which I was gonna wait and open tomorrow, but I guess I might as well open it with you now since I'm filming. Also, when I was getting ready to go to drinks, I filmed a TikTok, which was, there's kind of a TikTok trend, which is get ready with me while I tell you fun facts about me. But I did get ready with me while I tell you some fun facts about me and some complete lies about me to see if you can tell which ones are lies, like two truths and a lie, but I didn't say which ones or how many lies there were. I think comments on it that are like, I'm an OG Strawberry Electric follower. I know all of these and I'm like, then tell me which ones are lies because I genuinely think that some of them might confuse you or throw you off and I'm curious. So if you're watching this, I probably, I'll wait to make any sort of follow up until after I post this because I'm curious to see. <laughs> if any of you guys um, can tell which ones are the lies. Because some of them I do think I've talked about on social media before, but some of them I do think might surprise you. Check it out on my TikTok, link below. This is from Story. Once again, they do active wear, lounge wear kind of clothing. Ooh, oh my God, this seems thick. If this is a sweatshirt, I'll, I'll cry. <gasps> you guys! Oh, I'm so pumped about this. This is a hunter green zip up hoodie with a little S on it for story. I love a good zip up hoodie, so good for doing your makeup. And let's see what the inside feels. So soft. I also sent, ooh, these are like nice, thick, double lined. Well, these are so soft. A pair of black leggings that have pockets on the side. These are really nice. These are the Opposition Titan Onyx and the Perseverance Long Line Bra in deep teal, so also a similar color to that sweatshirt. So cute, I really like their long line bras too. Surprise Monday evening, but, Simon? My friend filmed when I was opening this email. Basically, I kind of forgot that I saw this viral TikTok about a girl who, <laughs> this is so cheesy, a girl who bought a soulmate drawing and reading from a sidekick on Etsy. I, again, don't want to discredit this because it could be true. <laughs> but um, it went viral and she told this crazy story about how like she bought this thing, forgot about it, and then she found out that the guy that she ended up with like looked just like this drawing and it all played out and it was so accurate, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, yeah, right. But it was only $5 for the Etsy reading. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it for the hell of it and like maybe make a TikTok out of it or maybe just do it for fun. And this was a couple weeks ago and I was talking to my friend and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I bought this thing. I never saw it in my email. So I logged into my Etsy and they said, check your spam folder. 
Turns out it's been in my spam folder for two weeks. So I opened it and she like filmed a clip of me reacting to it and reading part of it, but it was so long. The actual reading was like 20 something pages and also said a whole lot of words without like saying anything definitive. It was like, you can meet him through mutual friends or online. And it's like, <laughs> okay, and we'll follow up in however many years it takes and we'll see just how accurate this turns out to be. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, good morning. It is the next day now, which is month Tuesday. Ooh, I'm wearing the story set that I opened last night and I love this hoodie. It's so soft and I love the color. It's a little bit darker than the deep teal tank top and I really need a workout get some energy out of my system this morning i'm just like feeling down guys i don't know what it is i kind of do know what it is i'm supposed to start my period in a few days in the vlog a couple days ago i had that chat about like feeling like i'm not going forward and feeling frustrated and blah 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 blah, blah which is valid and <laughs> um it's just kind of like you go through seasons of life where you just feel more stagnant than others but I think my feelings about it like come and go and when I'm PMSing it hits me hard in the like yes physical things of oh my skin's worse and I just feel not as confident etc but also I think it hits me in ways of like self-doubt and being hypercritical about just like what am I doing where am I going all of that stuff those thoughts are just like swirling around and I'm feeling very ah so that's not very fun to vlog in the sense that like I've already expressed these things yes not trying to invalidate my own feelings thank you therapy <laughs> at the same time I don't think it's necessarily energy that I want to be like projecting onto you guys watching this like it's not motivating to watch that you know over and over so that's why I don't know I haven't been wanting to be vlogging much it's been feeling more like in my head so that all came from i put on my gym clothes because i think working out and getting in some weightlifting will help me at least like de just at least get out of my head for a minute and i don't know working out always makes me feel better so that's what i'm doing i'm getting my butt up to get myself out of my apartment and go move my body. I'm just feeling so like blah today and I don't like feeling like that, but I don't wanna just sit in it. Like I do wanna do something um, about it. So staring at my computer all morning has not really been helpful. <laughs> so, and also like still refreshing job postings. There was some good news this morning in terms of working out. Speaking of exercise. Also, why is this giving Letterman jacket to me? You've never experienced the epic highs and lows of high school football vibes. Super excited because I got a notification from ClassPass this morning that SoulCycle is officially on ClassPass now. SoulCycle was so in demand five years ago or so that it, every class was booked. They didn't need like ClassPass, etc. Um, but now I feel like so much of the culture has changed with the pandemic and people getting at home workout equipment and people getting the soul cycle bike and doing it at home. I do know that they haven't been filling up their classes as much. So I think it makes sense for them to go on class pass and incentivize more people to try it, like bring in new clientele um, that use class pass or that just want a better deal because soul cycle is really expensive. I haven't been going. I do really miss it. And I do miss spin classes, I think. I think I just need to find the right balance with it because when I was in my intense soul cycle every other day era <laughs> in DC, I think I was doing it too much and it was like too much intense cardio for my body. Um, and it just didn't really work for me. <laughs> so I do think I'll need to, you know, not go that hard and maybe just go like once a week or something. But one of, well, my favorite instructor from DC, Cher, you guys might remember, I always talked about her because her classes are the best. She moved to New York, so now she's here, and now it's on class pass, and I'm just excited to start taking soul cycle classes again because of that, because it just makes it so much easier because I already have class pass credits every month. I think I might try and go on like Thursday or something. I thought about going tonight, but then also I don't know if I mentioned, um, I'm getting dinner with my boss for my last job, and our team lead who's from the Netherlands, but he is in town. 
um, visiting. So we were supposed to go to dinner a couple months ago, but then his trip last minute got um, canceled. So now he's here in December and she texted me yesterday and asked if I'm free to get dinner with them. And I was like, yes, that'd be so nice to see you guys. I really liked everyone on my team and it's been a while. So that'll be exciting. I still don't know where we're going yet. I'm waiting on a message for that, but that's at 7.45 tonight. But then also part of me when I read that was like, oh man, like dreading the conversation of still talking about like, yeah, I'm still looking for a new job. <laughs> Which I know I get logically, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just in my head about it again and feeling extra insecure about these things. So whatever, I'm like not really looking forward to that part of the conversation, but you never know like what kind of connections they might be able to offer or like advice or openings they know of that I don't and stuff like that. So I think it's, you know, a good thing. And obviously like I want to see them regardless of my job status. I'm gonna go move, get some exercise, listen to some music, unplug from my brain for a little bit and then come back, shower. Oof, I just need to like shake it off. <laughs> and it does help to kind of like think through where these feelings are coming from and etc. Being able to understand it that way instead of just like immediately dismissing it. But I still just like don't want to sit in it for too long, you know? Anyway, after my little <laughs> talk with you guys earlier where I was just feeling not myself and just Ugh, bleh, like one of those days. Um, a little bit of exercise did help, so that was good. And, you know, it didn't cure all my problems, but it did kind of like reset me a little bit. And after that, because I had honestly been thinking like, I just felt so like not in the right headspace. And oh, I don't know if I'll even like be my best self at this dinner tonight. Like maybe I should just cancel, etc. And then after my workout, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna decide to start over fresh in the day and I'm not just gonna mope around and feel bad about myself and like wallow in that weird feeling. I'm going to do the things that feel a little uncomfortable. We're going to a vegan restaurant called PS Kitchen in Midtown. I forgot to put powder under my eyes and concealer. I always do that. So I wanna start tomorrow on a better foot. What is your go-to when you feel like you're kind of in a funk and just not in your normal thought patterns. I feel like that's where people do maybe not affirmations, but just kind of like a mental check-in with yourself. What I was talking about earlier where I was feeling this way, but it didn't make sense. Like I don't have logical things that should make me feel like this. Um, my therapist gave me a tool to kind of like visually map out in your head, or you could write it down too, if it helps. A thought, the feeling that, or no, a feeling the thoughts that the feelings causing and if there are actual facts to back that thought up or if it's just your own negative thoughts you know what i mean i'm kind of i'm probably misquoting it but more just in the line of don't believe everything you think <laughs> but anyway i'm excited to go out go somewhere new and reconnect with some people for my last job so all good things <laughs> Also, I was looking for some resistance bands that I wanted to use to aid my workout that I could not find for the life of me, but I was looking in like those closets back there where I might have some stuff in storage that I don't use every day or that often. And while I didn't find the resistance bands, I did find some backup makeup products that, ooh, very reflective, um, that I got from Jouer, which I love Jouer stuff. I really like their little duos. I have this blush one that's in my bag right now. It's a really nice pigmented blush duo. This is, it's the Coquette blush duo and um, they have bronzer ones too. So while I like my cream bronzer for my face, I have been liking to do powder bronzer as eyeshadow. So I thought these would be perfect to try because they're a little bit lighter. So not super dark contoury shades, at least for me. This is light to medium duo. So I'm gonna use suntan and go concentrated on the outer lid and then kind of drag it in on the lid. And it looks matte. I've been doing this normally, but I kind of like that these are a little bit cooler toned than the bronzer that I've been using. And this is just like a big fluffy shader brush from Real Techniques, what's it called? Deluxe Crease Brush. 
Okay, ready to go now. I tried my hair, put on my outfit. About to get drenched in the rain, um, but we'll see if my umbrella saves me. So um, I'm wearing kind of like, I don't know, all neutral look, but I mean all light colored. I'm wearing this cable knit cream sweater from American Eagle and my Anthropology Pilcro flare pants with it. So that's like a little bit monochrome. And then I put this Princess Polly brown faux leather jacket blazer kind of thing over it. It's honestly not that cold out because of the rain. I think it warmed up a bit. So it's like high 50s, 60s. And I think this will be okay. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling excited. I don't know what was making me feel like kind of anxious about it earlier, but I'm looking forward to seeing everyone and I think it will be great. So I did eat a little bit of leftover salmon with my dietary restrictions and stuff that I'll be able to find something, even if it's something small. So let's go out into the rain and have a lovely dinner. I just left dinner and my old teammate got me a Christmas present and that's so nice. I'm crying. Anyway, it was so great and I'm so glad I went. Now I'm in 42nd Street train station trying to get home. Someone's singing somewhere. I think the train's coming right now. Shit. Oh, that's not the right one. I'm home now. I just washed my face and getting ready for bed. And I'm so excited to read and go to sleep and just start fresh tomorrow with a better mindset. I, yeah, I really don't know what got into me today. I was just having an off day, but that's okay. Everyone has them. I feel like I've talked through it enough and I feel so much better after getting out, going somewhere, you know, reconnecting with people I haven't seen in a while. And it was so, so refreshing and nice and so much fun. And I'm just so glad that I decided to go. And I mentioned in that tiny clip I got walking on the subway, but my team lead brought me Christmas presents from Europe and it was just so sweet. I was not expecting anything. And yeah, it was just great. So I'm glad I went and this is your sign. Everything is worse in your head. And obviously like, yeah, they were asking me what I was up to and it was a very like minimal point in the conversation. I was like, yep, I'm still looking. And they were very like encouraging and we moved on and talked about other things and I it was worse in my head. So it's just like your own insecurities are always gonna kinda, you know, talk you out of things that you aren't, shouldn't be that scared of. So anyway, minimal stuff. I know it's like kind of a small thing, but I just feel so much better and ready to sleep and start fresh tomorrow. So I think this might be the end of the vlog. I really don't think this is a good one. <laughs> I don't think I got much footage or did anything exciting. Maybe, so we'll see. Um, I might end up combining this with more footage, but if this is the end, thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next vlog. And if it's not the end, see you tomorrow. Bye.